Hey there, Capricorn. This is your July 2022 reading. Let's see what's happening for you. What is going on for Capricorn? We have the Hierophant. So this is Taurus energy. Um, this is something that's very conventional. It could be a person that's very conventional, or conventional in their ways, their thinking, their religion. It could be um, also commitment. So this could be someone that wants a commitment with you. Let's see here. We have, ooh, someone speaking their truth. Someone might be coming forward speaking their truth, saying they want a long-term commitment with you. This is also transformation of the dragonflies here. It's cutting things out that don't belong, starting something new, standing in your power. Fies are also changes with the Hierophant. Ooh, here's another five. Yeah, someone might be um, have a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, feeling a loss here. And um, not seeing the two of cups available, but just seeing, you know, the three that they messed up on. And we have the king of coins here, the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in. So, um, yes, this is your energy. Someone that may be doing very well at work or in the finances. This is someone that is stable, reliable. And we do have page wands. There's communication coming in for you. This would be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's get a charm on this king of coins. Ooh, we have the Eiffel Tower. So this could be something to do with France or, you know, Paris, France. It could be something to do that's French. Someone could be traveling there or have traveled there. There's some kind of um, connection here with the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Of course, that's not going to be for everyone. Let's see. Why do we have the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here for Capricorn? Let's see. What's that all about? Ooh, yeah, someone has a lot of passion. I think it might be an offer coming in here. Either there's something very creative that you're doing. It could be a corporation, um, organization, or it could be love here. Passion, desire, a new beginning. Nice. Okay, well, now why do we have the Ace of Swords here? Oops. Ooh, there's competition or there's fighting, there's arguing. You might be cutting this out. You might be leaving this behind. Maybe there's a lot of drama around you. You just say, I had enough. I'm cutting it out. But that's another five. So we have three fives so far on the table. A lot of changes coming in for you. Ooh, someone has a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. Lovers here. It could be with Gemini. So there's a love connection, a soulmate connection coming that's in here that someone really misses you or has a lot of regret you could be dealing with this king of coin or that could be your um card here let's see capricorn taurus virgo let's see let's clarify this king of coins whoa another five. Oh my gosh someone might have walked away from someone because there was um some kind of deceit dishonesty maybe um gossip uh other people interfering in this connection. And it could have been that you were dealing, you maybe you walked away from a king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Alrighty. And the bottom of the deck, we have the three of cups. Now, someone wants to get a communication to you with the page of wands or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So somehow you're going to get a communication from someone. Someone wants to talk to you. They could be younger than you. And there's also, and this is hidden there. You don't know about this yet. This is coming up. You're not aware of this. Also, there is going to be a celebration you're not aware of. Okay, I'm celebrating something here. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here for Capricorn? What else? Ooh, the page of wands came up. Okay, so this is, this was hidden. This is going to come out. Some might have been waiting for a perfect time or something. Now you're going to get communication from this page of wands. Taurus, uh, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's get a charm on this person now. What is this? This is, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a, um, a dragon. Okay, dragon is, um, it's weird because they, they also have like a lizard here. Lizard is like a dragon too, you know. So... This is um, protection, courage. I'm thinking of fire, passion. Someone being very strong and maybe even maybe forceful too. Maybe coming, needing to talk to you, wanting to get a message made. Uh, let's see, we have here for the dragon. Protection, success, wisdom, loyalty, fearlessness, strength, 
balance immense possibilities. So this person, I feel like this person feels this way. The person feels very strong and determined to talk to you. That there's something here that they want to say. Okay, who's popping here? What else we have? Okay, we have the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Someone has a lot of love, a lot of emotion for you, and that's the message they want to bring across here. Um, you know, I don't know if I ever saw the King of Cups with two cups. Usually they're holding in one cup. Everything's dual on this card, like two fish. Or no, actually it's four fish. There's two back there. Okay, but we have the two cups. This person has a lot of love for you, and they have, oh, Salamander. They're willing to um, accommodate you. Because when I look at the salamander, it's like the chameleon, like willing to change, adapt, um, blend in, do what they need to do here. Okay. What else do we have? The fool, a new beginning, Aries, Aquarius energy, a fresh start, taking the leap of faith, a new beginning. This person is looking at this card. They're trying to play their cards right. This dog is also looking at this card. The dog is is involved too somehow. Maybe the loyalty, maybe the um, unconditional love. This this um, court jester or this fool is taking down this mask. It's revealing something to you. Got like it almost looks like a wand that the mask is on, but that's just the 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 um was attached to here. Okay, let's see. Ooh, the empress. Okay, and the bottom we have the three of coins. You know, the first time I noticed the C and M in here, and I, I pointed that out, this so someone's initials maybe, but I then I looked up something online and I someone explained that um, Cyril uh, Marchetti puts the C M on all his cards. It's just I never noticed before, and all of a sudden this popped out so strongly because this card just felt like something was more involved in the situation now here we have the empress this is three this is three so i'm seeing this as a the empress is abundance a empress also could be you could be getting news of a pregnancy here next to the fool something new a, a new baby coming in um it also could be a new job a new business something new is being created and you're capable of doing this and the empress is one of the most abundant cards in the deck and we also have on the bottom, what's hidden is the three of coins. This is working together. This is something that you don't know of at this time. It's, it's coming in the future. But there might be some kind of partnership working together with someone. And I look at this, the way that how elaborate these stairs are. You know, they go up and there's a door back there. It seems like there's a couple of different ways of approaching this. You could go up that way or that way. So there's something coming in, some kind of work situation. I feel like there's many ways of doing something or may, maybe may, many venues or avenues or something to obtain this goal. But there is a glass door back there. The light shine in, sunshine shine in on this. So it looks like a really good opportunity is going to be coming up for a partnership. And if we notice here right at this time, we have three, three, three. Something could be happening in threes and pairs of threes. It could be three people involved in this partnership. It could be a third party situation. I don't feel that, but there is a celebration here at the bottom of the deck too, that someone is celebrating something, getting together, having a good time. But it could be too celebrating this new beginning that you're having, this accomplishment as an empress. Now this could also represent Libra and Taurus. Now let's clarify these cards. Why do we have the page of wands here? Put this here. Let me make sure I don't forget to do it. Ooh, so we have with the page of wands, we have the hermit, that Virgo energy. This is going deep, finding answers, searching, also healing something. I think someone's coming towards you because they might realize something or they, they're being more spiritually connected to you. And they're also, um, this hermit has the star card star in here and that is actually Aquarius energy this is your hopes and dreams and your wishes come true this this hermit is finding something here this is also the healer the teacher the student going deep within okay now what about this king of cups I'm gonna put this here so I remember to do the charm here okay this king of cups is gonna surprise you they might be coming out of nowhere or, you know, you just don't expect them to show up. Or maybe what they say is going to be surprising. They're going to shock you. 
they maybe they they're shocking because maybe they changed. Something is different about this person with that salamander here. There's some kind of change. It's it's gonna be very shocking. Whatever they do, whatever they bring to you, whatever information comes in, it's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be a shock. Okay. Uh, Aries and um, Scorpio energy with the tower. And then we have the Knight of Wands coming in real quick. Someone coming in very fast. Very impulsive with the Knight of Wands. They don't think. They just do. And this is jumping into a new beginning, a new start. Maybe they're aware of this king or this page here. Could be two different people. Could be the same person. And they're coming in quick because they're, they might know that this person's interested in you. And they are too. So we have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, I have an anchor. Okay. Someone wants to lock this in, anchor you down, have a secure um, connection here. I, that's why I see the anchor. I see the anchor as, you know, a ship being anchored down, being, you know, secured. They want to secure something with you. Okay. What about the Empress? Why is the Empress here? Oh, the magician manifesting your um, abundance here, manifesting a new beginning, manifesting um, a baby. You know, this is something that you're bringing to life here. It's something bring, you're bringing in. It's you have all the tools you need to do whatever you want to do. If this is a new business, a new career, it's going to be fantastic. You have all the tools you need. This is a Aries and Aquarius energy. We have the fool here, a new beginning. There's more beginnings coming that you're not aware of that are coming in. After everything starts moving, I think, after everything moves into motion, you're going to see more and more things happening for you that are going to be, um, you're taking a leap of faith. You're taking a shot here because I think one thing triggers another. I'm feeling like one thing starts something, you got these new beginnings, and then something else comes in, something else comes in, and you have the confidence, you have the faith to do this. You know it's the right thing to do. You just feel it. And especially if you have the magician, you know, you have the power here. You're very strong. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here for Capricorn? We have the Emperor. Okay, we have the match set. The Emperor and the Empress. This is wonderful. So you are the Empress. You know, it could be vice versa. You are the Empress I'm seeing here manifesting something. And who comes in? Your Emperor. Your match. A power couple. Aries energy. Someone that wants that is in control or someone that is very prominent in society or business or their career they're doing quite well they are in control of their life they're they're able to achieve a lot i see you as the empress with the magician what makes you very powerful and now the emperor is coming in towards that energy because it's the same the same vibration okay let's see what else we have ah page of swords okay aquarius libra gemini this is the spy guy this is someone watching you. Could be watching you on social media. Could be watching you um, where going by your house, going by where you work, or it could be asking friends about you. They this also when I see this card, I see the birds on the show, the bird on the blade here. And it's almost like they're not doing it. They're having they're they're um contracting help here. Or they're, you know, they're they're getting the aid of other people to help them find out information about you. And it might be more than one person. They're sending out their little birdies to find out what you're up to. Maybe just to find out if you are in a commitment or it could be someone too very interested in you for a job position position here. Let's um, get a charm on this one. Oh, I got two. Okay, we have a wing and a spider. Hmm. The wing I look at is very angelic, very spiritual, spiritual communication. We do have all these birds here. This is someone that may be... Yes, send people out. There's news comes back to them. I see this as communication news come back. Now, when we look at the spider, well, that's a different thing here. With the spider, we have balance. We have spider strong, the gossamer thread. Um, re relating to the line between this world and the world of spirit. Maybe someone having a very good connection with spirit. It's also with this is spirit communication with the birds. Um, live mindfully. Like it's also represents the high priestess spider. So you are becoming a co-creator, a cleric or a teacher, a guide, 
trust in applying your intuition and your instincts. So this is saying, pay attention to your instincts. Pay attention to what you hear there. You know, also with the spider, you know, they have the web and they feel the vibrations. So they don't go to their food. Their food comes to them. Let this person come to you. You're attracting someone here. And when their prey gets on the web, they feel that vibration when they get caught, when they move. And you're going to feel this person's energy around you is what I'm, I'm feeling. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't want this to be so long, but <laughs> it's going to be longer than we expected. I try to keep them nice and short, but I want you to get all the information I get. So I'm like, oh, really? telling you what I get here. That didn't fall out, so I'm not taking it. I still feel like I need to shuffle a little more. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, it's the Seven of Swords. Someone's hiding something from you, deceiving you some way. It almost feels like communication. So I'm looking at the sword here. I feel like someone's holding back something, not telling you something. Maybe not um, to be, like, vengeful or... Um, to be mean or anything. I think maybe it's not the time to tell you. Because it doesn't feel bad. I'm feeling this card energy right now. It doesn't feel bad. It feels like someone maybe wants to tell you something. That, but there is not appropriate to tell you right now. Let's see. What else we get here? Oh, maybe because they have a lot of love for you. They don't want to scare you off. Because see, it didn't really feel bad to me. It felt like they have this information they're going to relate to you. Because this sword is right out in the open, holding it and watching it. But not, it doesn't feel deliberate. And the the point is down. So that's why I feel like it's not talking the truth. Like usually when the sword is up, it's like holding the truth. So when someone's holding back from you, holding on to something. They don't seem like holding very heavy. But I think this way and heavy on their mind. We have here the nine of swords. Someone has a lot of anxiety. A lot of remorse, a lot of regret. Can't sleep at night. Okay. Probably because they want this connection with you. Okay, let's see. Why is the emperor in here? Oh, so we have the knight of pentacles. Someone's coming in with an offer. So it looks like maybe this, this emperor is coming in slow and steady. You can count on them. You can rely on them. They're steady. They're secure. Let's get a um, charm for this. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, something just fell back in. Okay, what is this? This is... Oh, we have a lion. Okay. So this is either Leo is involved here, or it could mean this person is getting the strength. But they, this lion looks pretty confident, though. So they're waiting to get the strength. It almost feels like I'm looking at this charm. And to me, I don't know if you can see that. I can't tell. My, my picture is way too small for me to tell what I what you guys are seeing. But this looks to me like this lion is very confident and also coming in very strong. Strong, secure. Feels good. Okay, now, why do we have this page of swords here? Okay, trying to balance things out, trying to make a decision. Two are always decisions, choices have to decide something also with the two of pentacles trying to make make things balance could be juggling something up and down up and down can't make up their mind because i see the ships on the waves up and down up and down okay what about the seven of swords Ooh, moving away from this <clears throat> you're moving away from this <clears throat> someone wants to talk <clears throat> oh boy <clears throat> i'm so sorry as soon as I picked up that card, my throat closed up, kind of scratchy. Someone's holding it back. So you might move away from them because they're holding back, or they're moving away from something to come towards you to talk to you. This is um this is a guide guiding someone out of the rough water into the smoother water. <clears throat> so it's either you moving or they're moving. You could be changing your location where you live, where you work, or it's moving away from uh energy that's no longer serving to something better here. Ooh, that was tough. I mean, someone's uh, someone throat is really closed up here. Okay, the throat chakra is closed. Okay, let's see. What about... Oh, okay, for this Ace of Cups, this flipped out. Okay, so here's the decision. There's a lot of love here. And you have a dis to decide, it looks like, between a past person and, a, and a, someone new. So, um... You're looking at this world, you're looking at the past, you're looking at what already been seen, what is to come. 
it's like you're trying to someone might even be trying to make make a move and looking at moving away from something that does not serve them anymore to something that makes them happy and they're looking at the world they might be deciding on a location they want to move to okay now we do have on the bottom of the deck the page of swords again so aquarius libra gemini someone is really checking you out watching you very intently now this is this person by themselves looking at you so they might be around your area or they they're seeing you this is not other people they're sending this is themselves okay let's see okay we got two here we have here the owl the wise owl very spiritual communication and maybe at night and we have the key so wisdom is the key we have the owl nocturnal the owl can see things the owl i think it's also very like psychic energy can see very spiritual this is saying that your spiritual your spiritual connection your intuition is on fire got this little key here too it's not a very big key it's a small little key but this is what's going to unlock whatever you need here this person could also see this key and the owl as being um the information they need they might be going to see readers or going to see a psychic or someone to get information on you for the very strong knowing very psychic ability here being able to see this this um the owls can adjust their eyesight like in a second so when it goes to light to dark or something they can adjust right away and they are very um great hunters because they, they have such keen eyesight also their hearing is very good also and they can hear i uh, like uh, i think with their one one ear is is above the other on the opposite side so they can hear like in stereo they can hear something going on one side of their head and they can hear another sound on another side so they can really separate hearing so you can actually hear someone's words or they can this person can whichever way this goes someone who's very psychic very intuitive but also someone that's able to hear what someone's saying but decipher to actually know what they're meaning because you could say one thing and mean something else and this is what's coming up i'm getting with this person here coming in or or how you feel about this person whichever way that works for you because i think it's some people it's the person that's watching you and for some of you it's you understanding this person when they come around they start talking to you you're going to actually hear what they actually are saying not what they their words are saying but actually the meaning of what they're saying if that makes sense okay now let's see <clears throat> now we go into the words so our first one is this king of coins king of pentacles with the eiffel tower here what's that all about we have thoughts intruder present okay maybe that's what this is maybe this is actually someone that intruded in this connection or this person intruded in a connection and someone's thinking about the thoughts of how this person present either presently intruded or they brought a present maybe or they're presenting this intruder i mean you have present is present time is to present something and it's also present as a gift so take that how it will work for you okay now let's see about this page of wands here and we have the dragon we have always pleasure committed third party <laughs> oh my gosh so this person might always have a third party around that they're committed to for pleasure i don't know rearrange it how it works for you i don't really like that arrangement but it might be the truth it might not be <clears throat> okay what about this king of cups we have accused before oh the tower wow we got two the double tower here something's really shocking about this king of cups then something's really gonna shock you because we have a tower and then we have another tower aries scorpio so something shocking someone accused someone that shocked them before or could be before the tower 
someone accuse someone of something i don't know see if it works for you again you don't it doesn't have to be for you it could be for someone else so if it's not for you leave it okay what about this um knight of wands we have return well this person's coming in quick very soon oh yeah see return quick admitted Hmm. So they're going to come in and admit something, probably that they love you, because they want to anchor this down. So they're going when they see something going on here. This is probably very shocking things happening here, and they see what's going on. They're going to come in real quick to try to um, take you away from this person, or they're going to admit something. But this is this is happening fast. Okay, let's see. Now we have separate, excited, never. So maybe this person never gets excited, even though they're separate from you, or they never want to be separated and they're excited about seeing you. I don't know. Again, rearrange it the way it makes sense to you. And the last one we have to do is, oh wait, we have two. We have the Page of Swords and the Page of Swords. Someone's definitely watching you. That, there's no doubt about that. They have other people watching you. They're watching you. Will you? Feelings expose will you expose your feelings or are you going to keep them hidden or this person's going to expose their feelings to you and they're going to ask you a question that starts with will you okay now let's do this other page of swords i got two here apology reunite okay this person wants to reunite with you and they're going to come in with an apology okay now let's see what signs we have i like this reading it feels really good a lot going on. It's a lot of excitement. That's why I feel very excited. I don't know what's going to come next, but it's going to be exciting, whatever it is. <laughs> this is an exciting reading. I feel really good about it. I don't know. Even if you have someone that, you know, third party or whatever, it seems like it's all going to work out and you're going to pick the person that you're supposed to be. It just feels good. I just feel really happy. And that's telling me something. Sagittarius. Cancer. And I keep having these feathers sticking up. Cancer. Okay. Let me do this. Because I have to put my letters on here too. So cancer, uh, Sagittarius Cancer. Cancer again. And Taurus. Aries. And Gemini. So let's put it this way. Okay, so these could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts. And we're talking about past, present, and future people. We have Sagittarius, Cancer, Cancer, Taurus, Aries, and Gemini. Now we're going to do the letters. And this is going to be for initials for first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, you know someone's middle name if they have one. And you have an initial, all the better. Past, present, future people, and also your own. We have, what is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, L, V, J, D, C, L, X, K, H, Q, one too many here, okay, and R. Okay, so your letters for today are... L V J D C L K X H Q R. Now for the names. Let's see what names we have for you guys. What are the names? What the names do we have for Capricorn? Right here. So we have Lilia L I L I A. I don't know. Maybe I pronounced it wrong. I'm sorry. Renee. Pip, Dory, D-O-R-Y, Hind, H-I-N-D, I think that's pronounced right, um, Taryn, T-A-R-R-Y-N, Sarah, S-A-R-A, -A, Tom, Justin, Dana, D-A-N-A, -A, and Jack, exactly 11, I love it. Okay, guys, now remember... These are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take the parts that resonate. Leave the parts that don't. Don't try to make things fit if they don't. Um, please leave me comments. I love to read your comments. 
Let me know if anything resonates. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.